Farming is hard work, it's a labor of love that requires dedication, resilience, and a deep connection to the land. It always has been, and it always will be. The sun rises, the seasons change, and the work never stops. But that doesn't mean we can't look for ways to work smarter, not harder. With the advancements in technology, we have more tools at our disposal than ever before, especially when it comes to something as important as irrigation. Water is the lifeblood of any farm, and efficient irrigation can make all the difference. That's why I'm excited to talk to you about solar irrigation systems. These innovative systems harness the power of the sun to provide a reliable water source for your crops. These systems use the power of the sun to keep your crops watered, saving you money and helping the environment at the same time. It's a win-win situation for both your farm and the planet. In this guide, we'll walk through the process of installing a solar irrigation system step-by-step. -step. From selecting the right components to setting up the system, we've got you covered. Don't worry, it's not as complicated as you might think. With clear instructions and a bit of patience, you'll be able to set up your system in no time. With a little bit of elbow grease and some basic tools, you'll be able to install a system that will make your life easier and your farm more sustainable. Imagine the peace of mind knowing your crops are getting the water they need, even on the hottest days. Speaking of sustainable, using the sun to water your crops just makes sense. It's a natural, renewable energy source that's always available. It's a clean, renewable energy source that's available to all of us. And it's not just about saving money, it's about doing our part to protect the environment for future generations. And with the cost of traditional energy sources on the rise, solar irrigation is becoming more and more cost-effective every day. The initial investment pays off quickly as you start to see savings on your energy bills. Whether you're a seasoned farmer or just starting out, this guide will give you the knowledge and confidence you need to install your own solar irrigation system. It's a journey worth taking, and we're here to help you every step of the way. So, let's roll up our sleeves, get a little dirt under our fingernails, and get started. Together, we can make farming more sustainable and efficient, one solar panel at a time. Before we jump into the installation process, let's make sure you have all the necessary tools and equipment. Proper preparation is key to a successful and efficient setup. Just like any job, having the right gear on hand will make the whole process smoother and more enjoyable. It can save you time, reduce frustration, and ensure that your system works as intended from the get-go. Here's a detailed rundown of what you'll need to gather before you start. First and foremost, you'll need solar panels. These are the heart of the system, converting sunlight into electricity to power the pump. The size and number of panels you need will depend on the size of your irrigation system and the amount of sunlight you get in your area. Make sure to do a bit of research or consult with a professional to determine the optimal setup for your specific needs. Remember, the efficiency of your solar panels can vary based on their placement and the angle at which they are installed. Proper positioning can significantly impact the amount of energy they generate. Next up, you'll need a solar-powered pump. This pump will draw water from your source, whether it's a well, lake, or pond, and deliver it to your crops. There are two main types of solar pumps, surface pumps and submersible pumps. Each has its own advantages and is suited for different situations. Surface pumps are less expensive and easier to install, but they're not as efficient for deep wells. They are ideal for shallow water sources and can be a cost-effective solution for many small to medium-sized farms. Submersible pumps, on the other hand, are more efficient for deep wells, but they're more expensive and a bit more complicated to install. They are designed to be placed underwater and can handle higher water pressure, making them suitable for larger or deeper water sources. You may also want to consider a battery for your system. A battery will store excess energy generated by the solar panels, allowing you to irrigate your crops even when the sun isn't shining. This is especially useful in areas with cloudy weather or if you need to irrigate at night. Having a reliable battery backup can ensure that your irrigation system remains operational regardless of the weather conditions. Of course, you'll need piping or a drip irrigation system to distribute the water to your crops. The type of piping you choose will depend on your specific needs and the layout of your farm. Drip irrigation systems are highly efficient and can help conserve water by delivering it directly to the roots of your plants. This method reduces water waste and ensures that your crops get the moisture they need. And don't forget about mounting brackets to securely attach those solar panels. You'll want to choose brackets that are sturdy and can withstand the elements. Properly mounted solar panels will not only last longer but will also perform better, 
as they will be less likely to shift or get damaged by wind and weather. Last but not least, you'll need some basic tools such as wrenches, screws, pipe connectors, and a voltmeter. Having these tools on hand will make the installation process much easier. Make sure to double check your toolkit before you start so you don't have to stop midway to hunt for a missing tool. A well-prepared toolkit can save you a lot of time and hassle. With all these supplies gathered, you're now ready to move on to the installation phase. Proper preparation will set you up for success and ensure that your solar irrigation system runs smoothly and efficiently. So take your time to gather everything you need and you'll be well on your way to a sustainable and efficient irrigation system for your garden or farm. Now that you have all your gear, it's time to find the perfect spot for your solar irrigation system. Choosing the right location is crucial for maximizing the efficiency of your system and ensuring its longevity. The most important factor to consider is sunlight exposure. Your solar panels need to be in a spot that receives direct sunlight for as many hours of the day as possible. Avoid areas that are shaded by trees, buildings, or other obstructions. The more sunlight your panels receive, the more energy they'll generate, and the more efficiently your system will operate. Proximity to your water source is another important consideration. The closer your pump is to the water source, the less energy it will require to draw water. This means you can get away with using smaller, less expensive solar panels and a smaller pump. With your location selected, it's time to start setting up your solar panels. This is a critical step as the positioning of your panels directly impacts their energy production. First, you'll need to securely mount the panels using the brackets you purchased. Make sure the brackets are rated for your panel's size and weight and can withstand your local wind conditions. You'll want to angle the panels towards the south or north if you're in the southern hemisphere to maximize their exposure to sunlight throughout the day. The ideal angle will vary depending on your latitude. Once the panels are mounted, it's time to wire them together. Solar panels are typically wired in series or parallel or a combination of both. Series wiring increases the voltage while parallel wiring increases the current. The best wiring configuration for your system will depend on the specific requirements of your pump and the size of your solar array. Section 5. Installing your solar pump. With your solar panels soaking up the sun, it's time to install the workhorse of your system, the solar pump. This pump will be responsible for moving water from your source to where you need it, making it a crucial component of your setup. If you're using a surface pump, find a level, solid base near your water source. This ensures that the pump operates efficiently and reduces the risk of damage or malfunction. Secure the pump to the base using bolts or straps, ensuring it's stable and won't topple over. Stability is key to maintaining the longevity and performance of your pump. Now if you're using a submersible pump, carefully lower it into your well or water source using the attached cables. Take your time to avoid any damage to the pump or cables. Make sure the cables are secure and won't get tangled. Proper cable management is essential to prevent any operational issues or hazards. Next, connect the pump to your water source using the appropriate piping. This step is crucial for ensuring that water flows smoothly and efficiently through your system. Make sure you use piping that's compatible with your pump and rated for the pressure and flow rate of your system. Using the right materials will help prevent leaks and other issues. Seal all connections tightly to prevent leaks. Leaks can lead to water loss and reduced efficiency, so take care to ensure everything is sealed properly. Finally, connect the pump to your solar panels or battery bank, depending on your system configuration. This connection is what powers your pump, so make sure it's done correctly. Double-check all connections to ensure they're secure and properly insulated to prevent electrical shorts. Safety is paramount, so take the time to verify everything is in order. Section 6. Connecting the Irrigation System Now it's time to connect the final piece of the puzzle, the irrigation system. This is where your hard work pays off, as you'll soon be delivering water directly to your thirsty crops. If you're using a drip irrigation system, lay out the drip lines along your rows of plants, ensuring each plant has a dedicated emitter. Bury the lines a few inches below the soil surface to minimize evaporation. If you're using traditional piping, connect the pipes to the pump outlet and run them to your fields. Install valves at strategic points in your irrigation system to control the flow of water to different sections of your farm. This will allow you to customize your watering schedule based on the specific needs of your crops. Section 7. Testing your new solar irrigation system. With everything connected, it's time for the moment of truth, testing your new solar irrigation system. 
This is where you get to see all your hard work come to fruition. Start by checking all connections one last time to ensure they're tight and secure. Then switch on the pump and observe the flow of water. The water pressure should be consistent and strong enough to reach the furthest points of your irrigation system. If you notice any leaks, immediately turn off the pump and repair the connections. It's better to catch and fix leaks early on before they can cause any damage. Once you're satisfied that everything is working correctly, you can start irrigating your crops. Section 8. Maintaining your solar irrigation system. Congratulations, you've successfully installed a solar irrigation system. Now, to keep it running smoothly for years to come, you'll need to perform some regular maintenance. The most important maintenance task is keeping your solar panels clean. Dust, dirt, and debris can accumulate on the panel's surface, reducing their efficiency. Wipe down the panels regularly with a soft cloth or a hose to remove any buildup. You'll also want to inspect your pump and piping periodically for any signs of wear and tear. Replace any damaged components immediately to prevent leaks or other issues. Check the pump's oil level regularly and top it off as needed. Section 9. Embrace the future of farming with solar irrigation. Installing a solar irrigation system is an investment in the future of your farm and the planet. By harnessing the power of the sun, you're reducing your reliance on fossil fuels, saving money on energy costs, and ensuring a consistent water supply for your crops. But the benefits of solar irrigation extend beyond your farm. By adopting this sustainable technology, you're contributing to a cleaner, healthier environment for everyone. You're reducing greenhouse gas emissions, conserving water, and promoting a more sustainable future for agriculture. So, take pride in your decision to go solar and spread the word to other farmers in your community. Together, we can create a more sustainable and resilient agricultural system for generations to come.